Hi! So I just want to give you a little bit of an insight on how to handle rejection. I know rejection is one of the hardest things to deal with, whether your friend is rejecting you for someone else or you got rejected by someone you really love or really like and or you get rejected from the new job or anything. It's just such a hard thing to deal with because it makes ultimately it will make you feel like there's something wrong with yourself like oh I must be unlovable oh I must be like really terrible or I must be boring or I must be just whatever it's just so hard to think oh a rejection is just like that that I'm not suited for the situation it's hard believe me especially if you have low self-esteem it is so hard for you to just think oh it's not me it's you know <laughs> so here's a scenario I can give you you're just like scrolling through Facebook. You look at like photos and it looks like your friend is having so much fun and you're wondering, is there something wrong with you? They don't seem to ever want to, you know, hang out with you. Stuff like that. Or just those similar situations where it feels like other people are just having so much fun and you're never included or, you know, things like that. So you might be wondering, oh, there's probably something horribly wrong with me and I'm just this terrible shithead that nobody wants to talk to. It's so easy to fall down the trap of thinking like that. And that's what I really want you to know that, hey, that's when you're starting to be mean to yourself. So stop. And how you do that is you actually have to like hit a red button and go, no, you know, those red buttons. Yep. You just have to hit it and then let it go. No, no, stop, stop. This is not a good way of thinking. You're gonna tell yourself out loud and you're gonna actually like, you know, say it so like you're actually talking to yourself and you actually have to make yourself feel heard. Not just say it in such a like a way that you don't even notice. You really gotta just say like, stop. It, the worst thing you can do to yourself is to come up with all these reasons why you are not good or not worthy or not, enjoyable to be around and sometimes what you really got to look at is people are all different you got to realize that people are all different and everyone has different interests and one of the things that connect people are similar interests and maybe similar personalities and similar ways of communication just because you don't have the same way of communication or interest with another person doesn't make you terrible <laughs> it, it, it's yeah like it, isn't that a crazy concept like just because you know, and and you know you might find that people will want to spend more time with others with more things in common or like that they can talk about so many things that they have in common and like you know just bond over things like that and that's why sometimes you might find very hard to connect to your friend's friend because you might find that oh while your friend has a lot of things in common with the other person you don't and when you guys are all when they're all talking about like you know their favorite tv show and you have no idea what it is you might feel really left out and you're like oh i don't know like what am i supposed to say there's like there's no real way for you to really contribute to the conversation because you don't even know the show that they're talking about so just remember everyone has different interests it's okay if you and the other person or you and your friend are you know spending all the time together or even you and your partner like it doesn't make you terrible it just means that we're all different and and one of the really really good scenarios I came up with in my head was you gotta think of whenever I make a cover image whether it's for a deep um, whether it's for a thumbnail or some kind of picture what I usually do is I have a picture and then I choose from 200 fonts and when I scroll through the when I scroll through the fonts I'm going through like 200 fonts to try to pick one that really match the scenario I like the match the scene and match the photo and match like just how it feels in that photo and I gotta choose a font that actually feels right right I don't I'm not gonna just choose a random font that you know like there are some fonts that are more like you know bold and stuff and there's other ones cursive you're not gonna choose the same one for the 
every picture because you know every scenario is different and that's the one of the really good ways to feel like to, to understand like what it's like when someone like doesn't pick you and you feel left out or you feel like you get rejected you just gotta remember that hey you're one of the 200 amazing fonts that you're probably just not suited for that specific situation just imagine like you're going through the fonts you're not thinking like oh this font suck i hate that font it's stupid why do i even have it and then the next one oh this font is the most stupid font in the world you're not thinking that right you're just thinking like hey this font is not matching for this particular picture so and you ch ultimately choose a font that matches the photo the best and that's probably what happens when people are choosing you know partners choosing friends choosing jobs and things like that just so it is just such a important thing to remember that like i know it's weird eh compare yourself to a font like i wonder what font i would be if i was a font can someone tell me if i was a font what would i be i know this is probably the weirdest thing you heard all day so yeah <laughs> anyway so I just really want you to remember the font situation next time when you're feeling like you're being rejected just think of yourself as a, one of the 200 awesome fonts that you have on your computer that you may not be suited for every situation but you will one day be suited for that particular situation that's just meant for you so you don't have to feel like oh that's like because like this situation it's like you might not realize that it may not be good for you just remember that it's easy to feel like oh there's something wrong with you and and you there's just like think negative thoughts and that's when you have to catch yourself when you're being mean to yourself and just say stop it like i don't appreciate what you're doing you actually say it out loud because it helps when you're saying it out loud because you actually like break the train of thoughts in your head so you're just like i don't appreciate what you're saying and i don't agree with it i'm gonna feel great about myself regardless of what you think about yeah just to like talk to your mind like that it's just very very helpful because when you say it out loud you're actually like breaking your own thoughts and you're thinking of something different and even if it doesn't help you right away just keep doing it and one day it might actually sink in so i believe that the brain needs like constant reminders like i don't think you could ever like just you know say it once and then have it remember for now like every every train of thought or every thought pattern needs to be reinforced over and over and that's maybe that's why as growing up you may have thought bad things about yourself because those thoughts were reinforced a, a lot of times so you gotta try to reinforce those positive thoughts over your head more than once more than twice more than 300 times just do it so much that it becomes your natural thought so that's my tip on how to handle rejection i know it's so hard when you feel oh like th there's something wrong with you just remember that the best may yet to come so open your heart and open your arms wide for the situation that's meant for you lots of love to you and hope that it helps you in any way do let me know if you have any ways to deal with things like that i'd love to hear and let me know if i was a font what font would i be i'd love to hear that <laughs>